Filming live from a third story, one bedroom apartment in North Mishawak, Indiana, it's the Handlebar Growing Mustache Extravaganza with your host, Dave. Handlebar Mustache Show, Handlebar Mustache Show. The stash is looking great, but we can't be late for the Handlebar Mustache Show. Welcome back to year two, day 55, Ball and Chain Edition. Well, usually when somebody talks about a ball and chain, they're referring to their wife or their girlfriend or, you know, some other kind of person that's keeping them down some way. But in this case, I'm talking about a real ball and chain. Some guy uh, escaped from the jail, uh, the St. Joe County Jail, early this morning, uh, from the kitchen into a bread truck. Now, I work in the kitchen, and we get have a guy that delivers our bread Tuesdays, when, uh, Thursdays and Saturdays. I hope it wasn't him. He's a hell of a nice guy. I wouldn't have wanted his truck all smashed up. Anyway, they should have put a ball and chain on this guy so I wouldn't escape. But I guess you never know. You know, when I was in jail, I was it had the six point restraints. You know, wrists, shoulders, and ankles. So you know, I wasn't going anywhere. But I guess once they knew I could cook, maybe they let me in the kitchen. I could. Well, never mind. That's for another episode. Um, I've been watching this show on the 80s on the National Geographic Channel. Very interesting. They talked about uh, Jim and Tammy Faye Baker and, um, you know, their big show and uh, wretched, 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 wretched excess. Easy for Dave to say, you know, because we, we used to watch that show because my dad used to travel quite a bit. And so me and my mom and my sister used to watch that. And it was pretty entertaining. I mean, we used to laugh a little bit at him, but it was still pretty entertaining. They said at one point he needed to raise a, a million dollars every two days to keep things afloat. Now that's pressure. So I'm not quite there. So I guess that's all. Um, Cousin Dan's surgery got rescheduled. So we'll see about that. So maybe Thursday.